Hey everyone, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Today, we're gonna talk about one of the biggest misconceptions about dating and one a lot of men do. I've certainly done this a lot and I wanna talk about it and I wanna give you guys a different perspective on it so that hopefully it helps you get a little bit more clearer on what you want and hope, hopefully it will give you a little bit more perspective on what you're actually doing and how it's really not helping you or helping this potential future baddie girlfriend in your life that isn't there yet. Have you ever seen just this most gorgeous girl? Maybe she's at the end of the bar in a club, maybe she's at a coffee shop or she's just getting gas someplace. And out of nowhere, you pre-reject yourself. So out of nowhere, you already reject yourself before you can even say hi to her. This is nothing more than that classic example of approach anxiety. You have all these ideas in your mind, like, oh, I'm just gonna go up and say hi to her, she's cute. And you get ready to do it and all of a sudden you're, you clamp up and, and your mind starts going a thousand different directions and it starts making all these excuses. Oh, she looks busy. Oh. She's on the phone, she's got resting bitch face. Something comes up and you make an excuse not to approach her. Approach anxiety. And we've all had this, every single man watching this has had this before. And it sucks because you've missed opportunities. We've all missed opportunities of maybe incredible love, opportunities of just connection, we've all done this. Here is the most overused quote in the history of quotes, but it's so fitting and so true for this particular video. And I'm gonna drop a little picture up here because I saw this and I thought this was funny because one of my favorite TV sitcoms is uh, The Office and Michael Scott, he's Anyway, it's you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Obviously, that was Wayne Gretzky, and you see in the picture, Michael Scott. I thought it was funny. I wanted to share with you. I know I'm a little bit of a dork, but it is 100% true. So 100% 100 of the time, you're going to miss if you never take a shot. And when it comes to dating, when it comes to approaching, if you don't have that, if you miss out on that opportunity, to at least say hi to this pretty girl. Maybe even just give her a compliment, maybe try to get her phone number, but if you miss out on the opportunity, you pre-reject yourself with the idea that you're not good enough or you make all these excuses to not go up and approach her, then you 100% missed your opportunity. And as our complete moron of a president would say, here's the deal. You will never know if she will say yes unless you ask her. Now, a lot of men, I've done videos on this where we do have approach anxiety and some men are so tired of getting rejected that they've largely given up. But dating, my friends, is a numbers game. Either she likes you or she doesn't. You don't have control of that. But what you do have control of is presenting yourself and giving her at least the opportunity to know that you have an interest in her and you would like to take her out, get her number, whatever it is. And so if you make the decision for her that you're not good enough or that you're creating all these scenarios in your mind that she wouldn't like you, what you've actually done is created violence upon yourself and you've actually denied her the opportunity, and this might sound funny, but you've actually denied her the opportunity to reject you or accept you. And here's the biggest difference, you won't know unless you ask. Are you ready? Because I want you to listen to this. Women, just like men, aren't sitting there with a spreadsheet tallying up points on you. Yes. Are some women out there only looking for what they call the six sixes? So if you don't have a six pack ab, you don't make six figure income, you're not six foot or taller, you don't drive a 600 horsepower car, you're not six months single or post breakup, 
Maybe you're not six inches of your love down below. There are women out there that are very superficial, and if you don't have more of these qualities than that, then they're gonna disqualify you. But these types of women are not the types of women that are going to really make any good mate choice, okay? This, these women I call community property. These women cannot form real relationships because they start out as a transactional relationship in the beginning because they're looking for certain traits and if you don't have these traits, you're already disqualified. These women, I know they seem to be out there a lot and you see them on social media, ignore all of them. More women than not are just looking for someone they get along with. And yeah, it, someone they, that excites them. We can't just discount attraction and we can't discount the, the tingles and oh my God, this guy's you know exciting. You can't discount that. But a lot of guys have this because they watch stupid influencers and they read these pickup books and all this and they have this idea that they must be a certain type of person in order to get X woman. And it's simply not true. You need to be who you are. Yes, you want to be the best version of yourself. I talk about this a lot but it's the best version of yourself. You wanna present yourself in such a way, in such a package, that a lot of women would consider you a viable option for boyfriend, wife, husband material down the road because you have done the work. Do you have to be six foot? No. Matter of fact, guys, 14% of men as a population a whole is only six foot or taller. That's it, 1% of females, that's it. So the, the, the tall guys, you know, they're gonna do all right, don't worry about it. But if you're only 5'8", five, 5'9", five, in reality, women just want somebody who is their height or taller. So all you really gotta do is find somebody close to your height. We're getting off topic, but I don't want you guys to lose sight of who you are as a man. All the work you've done to get to the point of where you are right now, maybe you have a successful job. Are you making $100,000 a year? No, but you're making good money. You have your own car, you have your own place, you're working out, you're eating right. All intents and purposes, you are a good dude. Then you're going to do fantastic with women. Women, just like you, just wanna live their lives. They wanna be happy, they wanna connect with somebody, who doesn't give them the ick, they want to create memories, they wanna fall in love, they wanna have children, they wanna do all these things. When you assume you've been pre-rejected or this girl can't possibly like me, you shot yourself in the foot and then you also gave her or, or made the decision for her that she can't possibly like you. She might be sit sitting there and hoping you go and talk to her. She might be like, oh, this guy's really cute. I hope he comes and talks to me because I'm not gonna make the first move. Women aren't gonna make the first move. We have to. She might be hoping and then when you walk outside thinking there's no way, she's like, oh shit. This guy, oh man, she could be thinking the same thing. So you have to shoot your shot. If you get rejected, you get rejected. It is a numbers game and that's okay. You're not everybody's cup of tea, but you can definitely be somebody's shot of whiskey. Another thing to think about is when you make the decision for a woman or you pre-reject yourself, you're kind of signaling that you have low self-esteem. You're showing you, you have no faith in your own worth. Do you want really want to program that self into yourself. We get programming constantly all day from negative news outlets, from information outside. We get all this bad programming. Why would you want to program yourself negatively? No, don't think about it that way. You have worth, you have value, you're doing the work as a man. You are, of course, leveling yourself up every single day. You're getting better and you're getting better. But the version of you right now, who you are right now is pretty damn fucking good and it's only gonna get better. And a woman will be lucky to have you because she knows that she's gonna attach herself to a fucking championship horse. That's what she wants. She wants that champion 
And if you already pre-reject yourself, you already have low self-esteem, you already have low self-worth, and you have this idea, she is not going to like me, she's going to agree with you. Because you're pushing out that energy, you're pushing out that negative energy. And also, you're making the decision on how someone else feels about you. And you're doing this without even asking their opinion on the matter. To me, that's kind of a dick move. This is why I have no problem now talking to any girl. Because I kind of have that arrogance about me, maybe a little bit of narcissism, but I kind of do it as a game where she'd be lucky to talk that I'm talking to her. And I make it a game because I get shot down a lot and I do have a girlfriend, so I don't actively go out and talk to girls anymore. But if I did break up with my girlfriend, I know I'd have no problem just going out and talking to girls because I have the mindset that, yeah, I'm a really cool guy, I have a lot to offer, let me see what she's about. And I have this idea that, okay, she rejects me, her loss. That's how I think. And I want you guys to have that same mentality that it's fine, okay? She rejected you, cool. But what if she says, yeah, I'd really like to go out with you? Bam, now there you go. So stop sabotaging Rela future relationships by making the decision for yourself and for her that she was going to reject you. Stop doing that. Just go up, shoot your shot, take your lickings. If she says no, regroup, on to the next one. Takeaways on this, I want to give you guys a little bit more perspective is falling into that trap, falling into that mind trap of when you first start seeing a girl and you find her attractive, Right then, don't give yourself a second to outthink yourself. Go right up to her and talk to her, okay? Just immerse yourself, say, hi, I'm Jared, whatever the hell your name is, don't use my name, that would be weird, but just go out and introduce yourself. Don't overthink it. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep it light, keep it friendly. Don't make it weird and just see what happens, okay? Go with the flow. Don't try to impress her Try to come from the angle of you're trying to connect with her. You're not impressing her. You're not looking to impress her. You're just seeing if there's a connection there. That's all you're doing. Don't try to wow them with your accomplishments. Don't be one of those douchebags that go up and all you're doing is talk about how cool you are, how much money you have, where you lived, all these vacations you go on to. Be congruent with who you are as a man. And don't have this idea of this fake alpha man. I'm going to do a lot of videos on what a fake alpha is in the future because a lot of red pill content, a lot of this dating shit, they're creating this false fake alpha. Be who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Be authentically you and give that version to a woman and let her choose, do I like this type of person, this authentic person, this open person, this person who has no other agenda other than just saying hi and connecting with me? That's the type of person the woman wants. Don't lead with your money or your job or your status. We just talked about it, but this approach always fails. Because I gotta tell you guys, I have money. I'm six foot, I'm 230 pounds, I do have a nice car. Women don't give a shit about that. All the women I've dated, whether it's just dating casually or in a relationship now, they don't give a shit about that. Yes, it's nice to have, they know I have ambitions, they know I have money, but it's the person I am to get those things. That's what impresses them. It's not the fact that you lead with your money because if you lead with your money, guys, you're always going to have to follow with your money. You're always going to have to be in that position because you're only going to attract the women who want your money. So be who you are. Stop trying to prove your value. Approach dating with a different mindset. Ask yourself, is she right for me? Is she somebody who can compliment my life just as much as you can compliment hers? Is she somebody I want to date? There's a lot of women out there when I was dating, first date, I'm like, this girl's a complete dickhead. She's a complete asshole. Yeah, do I want to fuck them? Of course, but they're a dickhead. I can't have a relationship with them because they're so narcissistic and all they do is talk about their exes and all this stuff. It's find out real simple, it's not a girl I actually want to date. You can do the same thing, okay? You don't have to date every single girl that likes you. Have some boundaries, have some status about you of what 
you will not accept. Don't just take anything that comes your way. Recognize that people you date should also be worth your time. The goal isn't to try to win any girl over with your status or your wealth, is try to connect with them on a human level. Treat it as a collaborative effort. It's a, you're looking for win-win relationships. I'm gonna do a lot of talking on that. This is what part of power dynamics is, is what a lot of social dynamics is. You're looking for win-win. You don't want a win-lose relationship and you don't want a lose-win relationship. You want win-win. You guys are both entering a relationship where the possibility of entering into this relationship, so wouldn't it make sense to make you both win? It would, so you wanna have this win-win. And by coming at this new female in your life and you're asking her questions about herself and you're, you're telling her stuff about you, is it, is, it, is it going to be a relationship of mutual beneficial results or re, is it going to be a mutually beneficial relationship or am I going to have to do way more work just to get her attention? That's a, that's a win-lose relationship. So those are the relationships you don't want to go in. If the girl is equally as excited to be in that relationship or the possibility of the relationship with you and she's sharing and she's contributing, win-win. Now you're in a healthy relationship. That's the takeaway on this. That's all I got on this one, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. In the description below, I want you, if you're looking to level up on your fundamentals of dating, this is how to create win win relationships, there's a link below. It's for $27, but you have so many more benefits. I just take a look at it below. I've created this five video tutorial talking about the five fundamentals of relationships and how to use this information to actually create win-win scenarios in your own dating. And it's not just dating, it's win-win scenarios in other relationships. It could be relationships with your children, your parents, your friends, new friends you're trying to bring in. This still works, it's fundamentals of relationships. Believe me, this is like a $2,000 value for 27 bucks. I wanna make it as cheap, I should say as inexpensive as possible so that the guys who are watching this can use this information for good so that they can get healthy win-win relationships. That's all I got again, guys. My name is Jared Schoemaker. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, hit comment, hit that bell icon wherever that is. I never know where it is in the descriptions and we will see you on the next video. Take care.